welcome to episode 429 of Progresy. Today I'm talking about um, possible... I'll get this right. Um, possible musics. Oh, fourth World One. Possible musics. I can't read it, you see, because the, the blue on the pink on the few fight I can't it's too early in the morning kids the kids are on school break so uh, I've got to be quiet because it's it's early in the morning so I'm not going to be my usual bullying self but yeah this is John Hassel and Brian Eno who uh, John Hassel is a we were going further left field from Laurie Anderson uh, John Hassel is a trumpet player um, he's one of the well I suppose yeah I suppose you could say he's one of the exponents of um a certain brand of ambient music that, that um, Eno helped launch, though he was kind of doing it on his own before he formed this alliance with Eno. Um, this album was originally released back in 1980. This is the reissue on Glitter Beat. This came out um, uh, this year, and this was donated. This was a gift from, so I kept the note, from Ray, good old Ray Stafford. Ray Stafford, he's the f he, he's the one that did the, the Peter Gabriel album the other day. He's a good bloke. I like Ray Stafford. He's a good bloke. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a, one of those albums that kind of fell through the cracks for me. I didn't I didn't actually own it. Um, I'd heard I think I'd heard one of the tracks. I think I'd heard Delta Rain Dream or something like that off of a off a compilation or so. I I don't know. I'd heard one of the tracks. I know that. And I mean, I was familiar with. Uh, John Hassel's work, uh, Vernal Equinox, Power Spot, familiar with that, but this one uh, just, I don't know, passed me by. So it was really cool that Ray uh, gifted me this because it filled, filled in a uh, filled in a, a gap. Um, yeah, it's called um, Fourth World Music because that's what that's the term that um, John Hassel uh, coined. Now John Hassel was a trumpet player. He played well. He's been playing for many many years. He, I think he even appeared on Terry Riley's In C performances back in the 60s. He's 78 now, I think, about 78, 79. He's still playing, still still going strong. Um, but he he um, he adopted this trumpet style that was reminiscent of um, uh, Indian uh, ragar singing, but using the trumpet and by very, using loops and and stuff. He, he, we can only describe it as more um, uh, microtonal. Well, people are turning off now. <laughs> microtonal music. Oh God, Darren, why you? We we want to we want to talk about people dressed up as vampire pirates and and uh, and and using mellotrons. We don't. We're not interested in microtonal music. Oh look, it's tough. We 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 are we are talking hardcore prog here. This is the real this is the real heavy duty stuff. Um, and yeah, so it was quite interesting to hear this. I mean, like I said, I heard Vernal Vernal Equinox was recorded back in nineteen seventy seven, and yeah, it's quite a well, it's quite a far ahead album for its time. And you know, when you think about what Eno was doing at the same time, it kind they kind of run in they kind of run in parallel. Um, so it seems only right that the two of them should end up working together. And there's a nice little booklet in this, which includes interviews with Eno and Hassel, talking about them meeting and working and that, which is pretty cool. Um, so with this, you've got um, uh, kind of ethnic rhythms percolating. Again, I've got to describe it to you, because there ain't no vocals. Uh, so you can imagine ethnic... Uh, percussion, heavily treated, lots of claps, there's claps on it as well, and Hassel's trumpet playing, and it's, it's again, it's, this isn't stuff that you're necessarily going to, you know, put put on the old headphones and rock out to, this is, um, this is thinking music, this is stuff to have on, you know, when you're reading a book or something, that's, that's how, that's how I, I like to sample it, you know, I like to have it on in the background, um, but that kind of that sounds disrespectful. I like the textures. Um, I like some some music that that you know that's good to have on when you're I know writing or doing other things. I find this is just I'm just talking about me, and this is one of those albums. And uh, yeah, I mean it kind of it's funny because you got this going on in 1980, 
and then quite a few years later you've got um michael brooks hybrid album and they kind of they felt they felt kind of similar to me they're very similar albums but instead of trumpet you've got guitar taking over the lead instrument um and then like i say you if you fast forward in hassel's career power spot which is 1986 um brian eno and daniel lenoir appear on that and again it's roughly the same time as hybrid and that one that album i did know and again, sounds they're very, very similar in terms of style. Um, Stan heard Fourth World Volume Two, Dream Theory and Malaya. So I'm going to keep my eye out for that one. Um, but yeah, this isn't going to be necessarily for everyone, especially in like the last track called Charm, which is an epic 21, 29 minutes long. But again, this stuff is this stuff is hypnotic. And it's meant to be. It's meant to, be, like I said, it's meant to elicit a, a, a different kind of response than yeah, than than, than anything else. And um, and I get the feeling that Dino, you know, you know, got a lot from this um, from this collaboration, and it helped him uh, with his other ambient projects. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a real. This is a really important one. I think if you're if you're into ambient music in, in the history. Of ambient music, um, and like I said, John Hassel, he's still he's still playing today. And I saw there was a there was um there was a track on oh I can never remember the name. Is it KCRW? Is that does that make any sense? There was a live on their website. Their um they do uh, live sessions, and there was a live live session which I watched with John Hassel playing, and it was just absolutely. Again, hypnotic. It's, I find him absolutely fascinating because he's got two guys with him. Uh, one playing, I think, one playing the bass, and the other guy playing guitar and doing loops and everything. And he's just sitting there, just tooting it along, making these incredible sounds. Again, it's all using using delay and um, and looping and reverb and whatnot. And it's just you know, I find it text in terms of texture texturally fascinating. Um, you know, not necessarily musically interesting, but in terms of texture and the use of instrumentation, it's just absolutely um, really interesting stuff. Um, again, this isn't this isn't going to be for everyone, of course. It, of course, it isn't. Um, this is for your this is for your hardcore Eno fan. Uh, this is for your Hassle fan who hasn't. And it's a it's a good reissue. I think it's um you know again more of these albums have been lost. I think this was originally released on E.G. E.G. Records. And um, yeah, these albums are kind of a loss now. Now that E.G. is no more, and that Virgin don't really seem well, Virgin's no more. I guess U.M.G. own them, own the catalogue. I don't know, but yeah. So there is a lot of um, there's a lot of albums that, are, <coughs> that was on that label that have been lost, and you can only get either via second hand market, and they're, even they're hard to find, or you know by well Glitterbeat. I know they've released um, a Laraji, the Day of Radiance album, which I must pick up because um, again I don't own that one. Um, because yeah, they're, they're really good, and you've got this like miniature. It's a miniature booklet, uh, yeah, miniature booklet, miniature LP style sleeve with a booklet and CD, and um, yeah, I think it's a really good, a really good uh, reissue. In terms of a rating, I mean this is a tough one because I like this kind of stuff, <laughs> you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rate it highly, but a lot of you are gonna go, you know, you're gonna be completely turned off by it because it's not, it's not your kind of thing. Um, but if you want if you want some really kind of chill music, if you wanna if you wanna learn about you know the history of ambient music, this is the, this is you know heading towards the source. And again, John Hassel's influence is um, is very 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 obvious uh, I think on, on, on Eno um, so yeah god in terms of a rating oh god how do I rate this um, I'm going to give this um, a steady 4 Delta Rain Dreams out of 5 that's 4 Delta Rain Dreams out of 5 because it's a really good reissue um, the music is absolutely um, fascinating, but again, it's not. It's not for everyone, you know. So um, you know, need to review more, more, more um, albums where I rant and rave, don't I? <laughs> so 
Them's the ones that gets the views. Whereas this one I probably only get, I don't know. Maybe we'll get 400 views. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, but anyway, do do check it out if you have the time. Or, or just check out John Hassel in general. Um, like I say, you've got Vernal Equinox is the one that he started with. Um, Power Spot's a good one. <coughs> and so... Um, and so is this one. Um, I haven't got any of these others, so I need to... Uh, um, or have I? Wait a minute. Let me let me pull up my iTunes. Let me, let me type in Hassel. Because I forget what, I've, what I own these days. Yeah, no, I have... Um, I have Vernal Equinox, PowerSpot, and this one. <laughs> so those are the ones um, that I recommend. Uh, throat's closing up, so I better end. Uh, my name's been Darren Lock. I've been talking about um, Fourth World 1, Volume 1, Number 1, uh, Possible Musics. Uh, it's John Hassel with Brian Eno. It's a fascinating record, and I'm so glad that Ray Stafford was so kind to gift it. Uh, thank you. I feel like a little bit more of my musical education has been completed. And, um, yeah, do do check it out if you feel brave enough or you're into that kind of thing. Okay? I mean, if you like um, Michael Brooks' hybrid, you'll you'll probably like this as well. And that's it. My name is Darren Locke. Only one more thing to say, apart from check out the social media. You know, I'm on the old Twit face, Google+, uh, music.darrenlock.com. And finally, www.patreon.com slash lock, where you can throw a few coppers my way to keep the old ship prog review going. Do, do, do it quietly. And that's it. Only one more thing to say. <laughs> you know, by Jiminy, you know, you know what that is. And that is prog on. <laughs>